cat or puss. There was once a man who had a cat so old that he couldn't even catch mice. What shall I do with this old cat? said the man to himself. How will I feed him? I think I'll take him to the forest and let him take care of himself. And he took the cat to the forest and left him there. After a while, a fox came running up and saw the cat. Who are you? she asked. And the cat replied, I am Sir Cat or Puss. Why don't we get married, Sir Cat or Puss? said the fox. I will be a good wife to you. The cat agreed to marry the fox, and the fox took him with her to her house. She tried very hard to please him. If she caught a chicken, she would not eat it herself, but bring it to him first. One day the fox met a rabbit, who said to her, I am going to come and pay you a visit, little sister fox. You mustn't do that, the fox said. I have circled the puss living in my house now. He might claw you to death. The rabbit ran to the forest and told the wolf, the bear and the wild boar what the fox had said. So they all got together and began to think how to please Starkato Puss. Let's invite him to dinner, said they. They talked over the menu and the wolf said, I'll go and get some meat for the borch. And I'll go and fetch the beans and potatoes, said the boar. And I'll bring some honey for dessert, said the bear. And as for the rabbit, he ran off to get some cabbage. They brought all these good things and began cooking. But when everything was ready, they couldn't agree who would invite Sir Ketopus. What will I do if I am forced to run for it? said the bear. I will never be able to do it. I am Ramza clumsy too, I am afraid, said the boar. And I am old and don't see too well, said the wolf. So they asked the rabbit to do it. The rabbit ran to the fox's house. And the fox was very surprised to see him standing on his high paws in front of it. What do you want? she asked. The wolf, the bear, the boar and I too would very much like to invite you and Sir Ketopus to dine with us today, the rabbit said. That's nice of you, said the fox. I'll certainly come and Sir Ketopus will come with me. Only the four of you must hide, or he might claw you to death. The rabbit ran back to the forest and told his friends all about it. And oh, how frightened they were! The bear climbed a tree, the wolf hid behind a bush, and the rabbit hid under it. And the boar joined them. Suddenly, the fox arrived, arrived with, with Sir Ketopus at her side. She led him to the table, and when he saw the meat, he was pleased and said, Meow, meow, meow. And the four friends said to themselves, Was there ever a beast so fierce? Nothing seems to be enough for him. He might eat us up too. Sir Caterpus climbed up onto the table and began gobbling up the food and fell fast asleep then. The boar was hiding with only his tail out and a mosquito flew off just then 
and beat it. The boar could not help himself. He pulled his tail and circled to Puss, who thought it was a mouse, rushed at it and caught it between his teeth. The boar sprang up and ran away as fast as his legs could carry him, and circled to Puss, jumped into the tree close to where the bear was sitting. Seeing him, the bear was the bear climbed higher, but the branches broke under him, and he tumbled down straight onto the wolf's back, and, ne and nearly crushed him. Up the two of them jumped, and away they rushed, and the rabbit ran after them as fast as he could. The four friends came together after a while, and they talked each other. Sir Catapus is small, but he nearly ate up all four of us, they said. 